doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell you that this probably wasn't the best trade in NFL history. But I believe in miracles. If the Detroit Lions can go to the NFC Championship, then anything is possible. We'll be taking over as GM of the Denver Broncos and bringing this cursed franchise back to the Super Bowl. Yes, I'm being dramatic. The Denver Broncos as an organization have seen a lot of success. But wow, the hiring of Sean Payton and the trade for Russell Wilson have dug a very large, very daunting hole to climb out of for the future of this organization. Russell Wilson, 34 years old, 5'11", star dev, 76 overall. Madden doesn't do a great job of emulating how quarterbacks can continue to be good even as they get older. So I can tell you one thing, Russell Wilson in two years will either retire or be useless. So this is a problem. A pretty awesome thing about this team though, you've got three star dev wide receivers and a rookie hidden dev in Marvin Mims. I actually really like, you know, the wide receiver courts. It's really good. Greg Dolchich is young and star dev. So we just might have our tight end of the future. Offensive line is mid, not great, not bad. Defense is, is pitiful. There are some good things. Of course, we have one of the best corners in the entire league. He's 23 years old, PS2. He's already 96 overall superstar X Factor. He'll be a 99 in one year. Such an amazing player. This is what's sad, but like this rebuild's gonna be so difficult. We almost kind of gotta leverage a guy like him. If he gets 99 overall this year, I may need to look into trading him next year just to develop some capital because we're not going anywhere with this team right now. And for the next couple years, we don't have draft picks. So we're gonna have to be like second and third round draft pick demons in this rebuild. Another guy I do love uh, is Justin Simmons, but he's 29 years old. In reality, is that that old? No, but in Madden, it kind of is. At 30 is when he'll start regressing. So he's not getting any better, but he is really good right now. I do love having Javante Williams, though. Javante Williams is a franchise demon. He's going to get really good. 82 overall star dev. I honestly think we have too many good wide receivers. I don't think it would be a bad idea to try and get one of these wide receivers to have a spectacular season and then trade them while their value's high and just sub in the other guys. Because when you have almost no talent on defense that's going to develop, but four excellent, maybe not excellent, but four really good wide receivers, it just doesn't make any sense. For an 80 overall, I think this is going to be a very tough rebuild, but let's hop in. First thing I'm doing is moving Jerry Judy to my slot wide receiver as well as wide receiver one. I want Jerry Judy getting a lot of reps. I'm also going to move our rookie Drew Sanders to my starting middle linebacker. Josie Jewell is a five-year player. He's a 79 overall. I'll happily put him at backup, but we're not winning right now anyway. I want to get the rookie some reps, make sure he's ready for the future of this franchise because Drew Sanders actually could end up being a really good player on this team. Oh my God, we have the one white corner. We have Riley Moss, don't we? I'm gonna get Damari Mathis some reps as well as Riley Moss. Fabian Morrow and Quan Williams are marginally better and they're a lot older. We have to start the rebuild and we have to start it quickly or we're just gonna lose, lose hard. Also moving Drew Sanders to my sub linebacker. I wanna make sure he's getting reps. My backup sub linebacker, I'm actually making Caden Stearns, the second year player out of Texas. I always like to make a safety, my backup sub linebacker. They can end up getting a lot of tackles and potentially dev trade upgrades. Denver Broncos playbook is is utterly useless. Um, and a 3-4. I'm gonna stick with the 3-4. Not sure how I feel about it right now, but I'm gonna stick with it. Offensively, I'm gonna go Kansas City. The two best are Kansas City and Dallas. Dallas gives your first two wide receivers a lot of reps, your tight end some decent reps, and your halfback really good stats. KC isn't so big on your halfback, but your tight end will go off, and all of your receivers will go off. So, I actually kind of want to get Greg Dolchich moving here, too. I'm gonna move Greg Dolchich to my starting tight end. 23-year-old out of UCLA with star dev. So he'll definitely be able to progress. So Troutman, I'm sorry, buddy. It's Greg Dolchich season. This is the best position we can be in right now. I honestly don't expect too much out of season one. I'm hoping that Russell Wilson can just distribute the ball well. Maybe we get some players dev trade upgrades. And without our first round pick, it doesn't matter how horribly we play. Like tanking does us no good when you don't have your first round pick. Five in 12 season. I can't say I expected much more than that. Let's take a look around the league. Dude, I'm telling you what, man. Kansas City playbook is fucking diabolical. Russell Wilson, 4,463 passing yards, third in the NFL. Let's see how the entire team did, though. So, like, from a rebuild standpoint, this doesn't mean much. Like, this is awesome, but Russell Wilson getting good stats doesn't do anything. He can't get better because of his age. So, it's really just about which of our young players did well. Javante Williams, if he always does this, we are set for the rebuild. 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Great season for him. Samaj P. Ryan getting a few touches here and there, but that's exactly how it should look. Workhorse Javante. Beautiful. This, 
makes me so happy. So Jerry Judy, wide receiver one, exactly what we wanted. 15 touchdowns, amazing season for him. Potential dev trade upgrade. Greg Dolchich, 1,108. Very good chance he gets a dev trade upgrade on that. And then Marvin Mims, the rookie, 1,094 and six. Is that enough for an offensive rookie of the year campaign? We're going to find out here in season awards. AFC offensive rookie of the year. Damn. Oh my God, dude. Everybody was going off. 1,106 gets you fourth. Zay, Rishi, Rice, Josh Downs. That's okay. Honestly, feels a little more realistic this way. And what did I say about Drew Sanders though? Look at this. Drew Sanders, third in defensive rookie of the year in the AFC, just because he was involved so much. You know, that's what's going to get his, his overalls up. The best wide receiver though in the AFC is Jerry Judy. So he will definitely get a dev trade upgrade. Got to see how we did uh, defensively. So Drew Sanders led the team in tackles, five TFLs, half a sack. Caden Stearns, four TFLs, two sacks and interception. Exactly why we put him as sub linebacker. That's great reps for him. Damari Mathis had a solid season. Um, Not a lot of interceptions across the team. A few guys got one, but that's it. And I talk about it all the time when I do rebuilds. You will not win the Super Bowl getting this many sacks. And, and you know, I say that, but we actually had a lot of sacks distributed between Baron Browning, Jonathan Cooper, Zach Allen, and DJ Jones. But overall, a really good recipe for success is an elite edge rusher. Well, it doesn't even have to be an edge rusher, too. It could be an elite D tackle, but you got to get to the quarterback. Baron Browning, I love him. He's really fast. And seven and a half sacks leads our team. Not sure if that's enough for a dev trade upgrade. We'll stay on top of that, though. Would love to draft or trade for an elite guy. It's always a good way to win a rebuild. But that was actually a really solid first season. Upcoming here is the draft. We're just going to have to see if we're actually able to make a move in this draft, potentially trading up. Uh, it's all going to depend on how good the draft class is. Keep in mind, my draft class is on normal for every single position. If there's a dominant quarterback or a dominant edge rusher, I will trade up. Otherwise, I think we'd just go into next season and hopefully continue to improve on the young guys. Let's take a look at these prospects. There's Max Rice, who actually kind of looks like a monster quarterback, but he is going to go in the top five, so I'd have to spend a lot to get back up here. Wow. Elite strength, elite acceleration, great change direction, great agility, decent speed, very fast quarterback. His archetype is improviser, which also implies that his throwing stats are really good. Out of Arizona, that guy's actually a freak. Max Rice, the next best quarterback is Drew Andrews out of West Virginia. Physicals don't look nearly as good. Skills are similar. This tells me that Max Rice, Max Rice is probably a 78 overall, if not higher. And there's Michael Mullen. Hmm. I'm tempted to trade up for Max Rice. Let's see where the mocks have him going. All right, these end mocks have Max Rice going at six, but these early mocks have him going at one or two to the Seahawks. <sighs> Do I risk him falling to six here? I'm going to trade up for the Vikings pick. Wait, we have a draft pick? Wait, am I a casual? Do we have a draft pick? Whose first round pick do we have? Oh my God, we have a pick. We have round one pick five. So we can just risk it. It's that or do I trade up? No, nah, let's risk it. Oh, uh, is he still available? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. All right, this is the exact guy we wanted, Max Rice. We have round one pick five. I apologize for my casual knowledge. I really thought we had no draft picks this season in the first round. Max Rice. This guy looks like a freak show. He's got to be hidden, Dev. He abs... Dude, how are you not hidden dev? You are a freak of nature. Bro had elite and two, dude, that's crazy. All right, no hidden dev, but he's still, dude, he's still gonna get crazy reps. I'm not too worried. I'm really not. Take a look at Jadarius Ellington, this corner. Elite agility, elite change of direction, marginal speed. So he's probably slow. The elites make me think maybe he's hidden dev. So I get a hidden dev corner in the third round, but I couldn't get it on my round one pick five. Regardless, this guy's honestly got the weird, one of the weirdest stat spreads I've ever seen. We've got an Asian corner with 88 speed and 97 change of direction 95 agility 90 excel he said in dev he's at least star so that that really is a great pickup we just gotta hope that max rice was a high overall if max rice was not a high overall it's it a pretty bad draft i'm gonna take anthony burgess out of old miss it's got some decent physicals there's not much here in the fourth round an 85 speed 87 excel speed rusher linebacker nothing fancy and i'm gonna skip to the end of the draft i'll let the cpu clean up the fifth sixth and seventh and okay we just need max rice to be high overall if he's still a high overall and we can put him in a starting position. He'll excel. He'll get those dev trade upgrades. Damn, I expected him to be hidden dev. All right, the draft recap, super important piece. Oh my God, I actually thought I had this done so well. I completely whiffed. Max Rice is a 73 overall. Ellington's a 66. What a horrible draft. All right, let's take a look around the whole NFL. Best player in the class was a 79 corner, Caleb Nails. Wasn't a strong class by any means. Were there any better quarterbacks? Oh my God, this class is so fucking weak. Okay, well, the good thing to note is he was the best quarterback. It's just the best quarterback was shit. All right. Gosh, I don't know. Do we put Max Rice in right now or am I still going to rock Russell Wilson? All right, heading into year two. Let's take a look at the lineup. Hopefully we got some dev trade upgrades. 
upgrades. Well, okay, so Russell Wilson regresses as we thought, despite his amazing season. So Max Rice still was a good call because we can sub Max Rice in here. Williams is an 85. Judy goes superstar. Dolchich goes superstar. We've got Cortland Sutton, Marvin Mims, and Tim Patrick has regressed to normal dev. So we're still going to be rocking the Judy, Sutton, and Mims core of wide receivers. Tim Patrick probably on his way out of the organization. Offensive line still looks all right. And then defensively, ooh, damn. Okay, so Drew Sanders is star as he was. Browning gets a dev trade upgrade. Or no, he might have already been star, but Jonathan Cooper definitely got a dev trade upgrade. Same with Caden Stearns, now a 77 and star. Mathis and Moss are mid for sure. Justin Simmons goes X Factors. So this is, defense is actually looking a lot better and now it's Max Rice's turn to uh to put up some stats here. I don't think we really messed with anything this season. Let's just start Max Rice and have a great year. Russell Wilson obviously on his way out. Um, I wonder if we trade Russell Wilson. It feels kind of weird to do this, but we know that Russell Wilson is not going to play with this team anymore. Who needs a veteran quarterback? That's kind of the question. Wait a minute. Trey Lance is on the is on the chopping block? You think I could get Trey Lance for Russell Wilson straight up? Oh no, because he's so fucking expensive. I need someone with cap space. Honestly, the Giants desperately need a quarterback. I wonder if they would take him. I don't think anybody's going to absorb his cap hit. I think we just got to ride it out until he's out of the team. All right, Max Rice, this is your team now, buddy. You were not as great as we had hoped, but that doesn't mean you can't have a spectacular season. That's the hope anyway. And then I'm going to make Jadarius... What is his name? Jadarius Ellington. He sounds like a... He sounds like a fancy black person. Like he's the king of England or something, but he's black. Jadarius Ellington. I'm putting him in a slot corner. Here's the thing. He's a 68 overall, kind of dog shit, but on the off chance that he's actually superstar and not star, this guy will develop like a freak. He'll get like nine overalls a year. So throwing him in, kind of on a Hail Mary. His teammate winning shit right now anyway. So let's let's be practical, right? A little improvement this season. We went eight and nine in year two. Chiefs and Raiders and wow, the AFC West was dominant this season. Uh, and our overall is going up slow but steadily it's just exactly what we're looking for max rice had an insane season max rice 29 and 11 there's room for improvement there same with the completion percentage but 4400 is an amazing rookie season Javante, 11, 15, and 15. Awesome for him. Judy put up another spectacular one. Same with Dolchich. Sutton was solid, but never found the end zone. And Mims had 7, 71, and 4. Solid season. Drew Sanders. Wow, serious improvement for Drew Sanders. 128, 5 TFLs, 1 half sacks, 2 interceptions. Even had 3 passes deflected. Caden Stearns, 5 TFLs, 2 sacks, 3 interceptions. He's going to get another dev trade upgrade. And all of a sudden, Caden Stearns is going to be a sleeper player on this team. Damari Mathis, a great season too. Jonathan Cooper got home more than anybody. Uh, Zach Allen, I like the 3-4 defense. It's working well. Baron Browning, DJ Jones. Honestly, like, if we just get a better speed rusher or maybe a really good rush D tackle, I think we'd be better off. I like Zach Allen a little bit. He's getting six and a half sacks because he's rush D tackle, but like, I feel like there's probably a better option there, right? Either way, great, amazing season. That's definitely offensive rookie of the year. I'm gonna check anyway, but that's offensive rookie of the year. Yeah, he's actually 10th in MVP vote, which is crazy. Um, that's NFC. Let's go to AFC. Boom! Max Rice, AFC offensive rookie of the year. So he'll get his dev trade upgrade for that, which is huge. And Jadarius Ellington came fourth in defensive rookie of the year voting, so he must have had a solid season as well. Um, with only 15 mil in cap space, I'm actually gonna skip free agency this season as well. I would like to get Russell Wilson off the books so that I can make a massive free agent signing. I don't want to get caught in the trap of just signing mediocre free agents here and there. Ooh, look at this. Dude, after these two seasons, look at how much better this team is already. So Max Rice now start of Dolchich. Greg Dolchich might be the lowest overall superstar X Factor I've seen in a while. 82 overall superstar X Factor. It's honestly crazy. I'm gonna give him arm bar and yeah, he doesn't get any good abilities. <laughs> Give him double me. He's got some upgrading to do, but wow, Greg Dolchich is really getting his way up there early. What else we got here? Offensive line still looks good, but they're starting to regress just because these guys are getting older. So wouldn't hate drafting an offensive lineman here. Then defensively, yeah, Zach Allen's not getting any better. And Jonathan Cooper, we actually couldn't afford Jonathan Cooper and Justin Simmons regress just because he's getting older. Sertan, still a hard 99. Uh, Jadarius Ellington, wow, that's so sad. So he was a hidden dev star, but he regressed to bronze. That is so sad. And apologies, I had my depth chart wrong, but look at Caden Stearns. So Caden Stearns, after two consecutive seasons of being one of the best tackling safeties in the league, he's getting another dev trade upgrade. 92 speed, 91 acceleration. Really, it's crazy how far he's come this quickly. Not a guy that I was even looking at. Kind of the cool part about franchise sometimes is just the most random dude who goes off. So without Jonathan Cooper, though, we need a speed rushing outside linebacker. Need a left end, need a speed rushing outside linebacker, and could probably use some O-line help, too. There's a lot of stuff we need. Let's 
let's go into this draft and honestly we're just gonna have to see what's available to us round one pick 15 since we went eight and nine <sighs> Looks like there are some good tackle options. I think I'm going to have to take a tackle here since they're right in front of me in the best options. Justin Sierra, elite jumping. Gr wow. Great in everything, then elite, then solid. Justin Sierra is a really good option already. Take a look at Matt Fleming out of USC anyway. Oh my God. Elite, elite, elite. Great, good, great. Yeah, he's better. Damn. This is a really strong tackle class. Gary Kewell. Holy shit. Every fucking one of these dudes is a monster. Elite excel, elite jumping, good speed. I like the great strength there though. I think Gary... Gary Kuehl out of Michigan might be... Although Matt Fleming has better all-around stats. Wow. You can't really go wrong. I'm taking Matt Fleming out of USC. So long as he's hidden dev. Yeah, all of those tackles are fucking nasty. Every single one of those guys was great. Matt Fleming, hidden dev. Uh, I could move him to left guard or center or something, but both of my tackles are getting older. So gonna need him no matter what. This is literally our last pick. We have no picks after this. DeAndre Griffin. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like this guy, Jaden Beasley. I like this A tackle, A power moves. He's just a power rusher. He doesn't care about finesse. He can be an F all at once. Great strength. I don't hate him right now. It's really hard to draft good linebackers if they're not in the first or second round too and i can't really take a safety here i'm gonna take Jaden beasley i don't think he's hidden dev a pleasant surprise power rusher Jaden beasley is hidden dev 6'4, 270 at ole miss 88 strength 82 excel 78 speed on a power rusher is actually like it's not bad at all i'm cool with this all right draft recap hoping this one went better than last one excellent this is so good so much better than our first draft we get 274s in the first and second round that's really hard to do honestly especially the second round Jaden beasley hidden dev matt fleming hidden dev both 74 overalls great draft for us let's see if we missed though because there were a lot of good tackles we could have taken let's see how the other ones were so george gore was not available so the ones that were available were fleming there was sierra was actually a 73 and kewell was a 73 so we got the best tackle available that's awesome best player in the class was Jaden cobb i Outside linebacker from LSU, 81 overall. Next best was Cameron Walden, and there was a 78 overall corner in the third round. D'Angelo Keys out of Kentucky. Damn, nice pickup for them. Uh, solid class, much better, much better overall draft class than that uh, first one. The first one was so weak. All right, hey, beautiful. We love this. Well, here's the good news. Matt Fleming is actually a higher overall at left guard. He's a 76 left guard. So I've moved him to our starting left guard. We've still got Bowles, McGlinchey, Miners, and Cushenberry. So honestly, I do like the offensive line. I'm just worried, of course, about Bowles and McGlinchey, who are now in their eighth year in the league. We'll see what happens with them. Dolchich, amazing young X-Factor. Judy, amazing young superstar. Mims Sutton still progressing. Max Rice obviously still progressing. And Javante's almost a 90. And then defensively. Okay, so the only thing this team is like really missing right now is a better outside linebacker. Uh, Because right now, Beasley is our guy, but I really need a linebacker who can get to the quarterback since I'm in a 3-4. So Browning's going to be doing a lot of that. Drew Sanders locking up the middle. Eventually, I'd probably like better corners too. I'm going to give Jadarius Ellington uh, the CB2 spot though. Uh, And we'll move Damari Mathis to CB3. All right. I don't think I'm willing to trade for a linebacker yet. I still feel like we could draft one in this upcoming season. Um, but let's just see how the season goes. Super Bowl 60 is Tampa Bay at Houston, which is pretty awesome, man. We go 5-12, and 12, so we actually had a difficult season. I'm surprised that we had a worse season this go-around. Looks like Max Rice had one of his worst seasons to date. 30-8, 3,780 yards. Javante Williams, a decent season, 1,111. Honestly, that is a good season. I'm just confused why Max Rice struggled. Felt like with more weapons, everyone's better. I feel like he would have had a better season. Defensively, Drew Sanders had his most tackles ever. Eight TFLs, two and a half sacks. Baron Browning got home seven and a half. Jaden Beasley, seven sacks, 14 TFLs. That's a really good rookie season right there. Zach Allen, uh, four. And six interceptions for Justin Simmons is honestly crazy. Two for Singleton, one for PS2, one for Riley Moss. I'm confused though. Confused why we did so poorly. Damn. All right, tough season here. Let's actually use the off season now. I think we're going to need to make a big free agent signing. I, I really want to get like a pass rushing outside linebacker. And if I can't get one in free agency, maybe I'll have to trade for one but let's just see who's available. Three years in, we are no closer to the Lombardi. At least we have our franchise quarterback, I guess. Five and 12, I'm shocked. Hey, we got 80 mil in cap space though. There's always good news. Deion Dawkins is 32. I can't consider that. Oh, Quincy Williams. What is he considered? Pass coverage? Yeah, can't go with that. Hey, we did sign Kyler Gordon, though. So we've got some corner help, and he's 26. I like Kyler Gordon. There's really not much in free agency. Damn. Gotta make a big move here in the draft. We're either trading our draft pick, or we're... I don't know. We're gonna find out. All right. We've honestly got such a high draft pick. This is so valuable. Round one, pick five. I'm gonna look for a linebacker. Pass rushing outside linebacker. I feel like offense is... 
Who the fuck are you? Joe Weber. Oh my God. 91 overall. Joe Weber, superstar X Factor, 23 year old out of Boston College. Holy shit. This guy's a fucking freak. He's slow as hell for a linebacker, though. 82 speed on a linebacker? Kind of needs to be an end. He's 6'5", 265. That's an enticing option. All right, let's keep looking, though. I'm not going to just grab the first guy. Here's Jaden Cobb, another superstar X Factor. Dude, what are they feeding these fuckers? Oh, my God. Jaden Cobb. He's another power rusher. He's got 86 speed. Okay, I like that a little bit better. And he's probably more attainable because he's an 87 overall. Let's try and pick up Jaden Cobb off of the Cleveland Brown. All right, I'm offering him our first round pick and i need to replace him for them dude everybody's got a fucking freak show linebacker other than me and i'll give him nick benito so nick benito and my round one pick five for Jaden cobb oh no they don't have the cap i should have checked that first <laughs> what about Corey curry Corey curry and nah, he's a run stopper i'm trying out here boys maybe the bears will do it maybe i can get joe weber joe weber is slow this is a weird player but i want to try it round one pick five is honestly very close to getting us joe weber uh we're gonna have to sweeten this deal a little bit can't put in benito because it'll put him over the cap so all right i'll give you four five six and seven 91 overall superstar x factor joe weber the 23 year old demon with 82 speed at outside linebacker i will be using him as a pure pressure monster all right let's take a look at this lineup real quick now that we just added him okay so offense looks honestly very very similar fleming's updated a little bit baron browning is now superstar that's awesome stern's still superstar ps2 actually regressed so did justin simmons we're gonna have to get a new free safety pretty soon here but now we're gonna have weber in there and Jaden beasley regresses dude these dev trait regressions are killing me the dev trait regressions are whooping my ass right now it's making this very difficult i play with dev trait regression on because i feel like it adds to the challenge but damn I kind of regret it. All right, let's get Joe Weber in there, left outside linebacker. And he's got to be the rush right end as well. Jaden Beasley's actually a really good rush D tackle, so we'll put him in there. All right, here is our team going into year three. Morale is not high. We need a we need a winning season so that everyone can just stop freaking out. That would be great. We do still have round two pick five. This is actually the only pick I was able to maintain. So if we could pick up... Oh my God, I was just about to say a free safety. Hilariously. And there's like four free safeties in front of me right now. This is really good. Because Justin Simmons is out of here next year, for sure. Elite jumping, elite agility. Josh, Joel Childress is a good starting option. Glenn Miller, not as good as Childress. Javier Ryans, elite strength. Interesting, but no. And then Greg Waller, great speed, great jumping, great agility. He's a really good option. I think we go Childress though for the elites. <sighs> Joel Childress, 5'11", out of Arkansas, hoping he's hidden Dev. Come on, Childress. Dev trait regressions, whooping my ass. 90 speed, 92 agility. He will be a nice option. I'm sure he's a decent overall. Um, Better than nothing, but damn, hoping for hidden Dev there. Not my best drafted rebuild. Let's see how the entirety of this draft went. You know what? That's great. Joel Childress, a 74 overall. It's a great overall. Yeah, I got nothing to complain about there. And overall, this was a solid class. Isaac Rivers, D-tackle. Geo Hughes, strong safety. Then it was Malachi Booth, Jake Heenan, Parker Morrow. Interesting class. Fastest player is a 99. There's two 99 speed wide receivers daniel cannon and juan young it's always fun to see they're always shit overalls too it's always like the shittiest player in the class has 99 speed all right year four this is honestly a pinnacle year for us because we have struggled so much and morale is really low and we just went five and twelve so we should have an easy schedule the hope is we can actually finally have a really successful season max rice can go to superstar potentially we make the playoffs if we can do a little bit better than eight and nine and everybody gets the dev trade upgrades which sets us up next year to actually win it but we'll see all right well, we tried, I guess. We went eight and nine. We got really close, just not quite. I think I'm going to switch up my defense. All right, I need to go to team schemes here. Before we look at our stats, we need to switch something up. So the 3-4 Storm, I think, isn't cutting it because offensively, we're sick every single year, but I just don't think 3-4 Storm's cutting it. 4-3, honestly, is usually a lot better in my experience. So I'm going to try something new here, especially because we just got Weber. I'm going to go Cleveland's 4-3 scheme, which is a base 4-3. And now I'm going to switch Joe Weber to a down lineman, which probably makes more sense for him anyway because he's got 82 speed all right i'm moving joe weber to left end and then i'm actually gonna move Jaden beasley to d tackle he's already an 82 overall he's only 22 beasley's an 80 at d tackle weber's a 94 at left end it's actually nasty this is really good zach allen then we still got baron browning drew sanders and benito now this is a little bit weird now for baron browning who's a pass rush guy but i could still put baron browning as my rush right end that still makes sense all right statistically how do we do max rise 4000 
legend. Gosh, we're really just kind of like stuck. Best season for Javante Williams. That's good. Judy, another great season. Same with Dolchich. Defensively, Drew Sanders, baby. Drew Sanders killing it. So is Caden Stearns. Got 12 sacks out of Joe Weber. Seven and a half out of Baron Browning. It's honestly interesting that we're losing so many games. I really feel like we're doing this well, but hopefully this switch to the 4-3 will be the difference maker for us next season. That's my hope. Could also sign an absolutely massive free agent if we wanted to right now. We have, what do we have? We have 81 million in cap space. Yeah, but we just barely missed the playoffs. Ooh, look who's a free agent. Tyree Kill is a free agent. I don't think that would move the needle for us though. We got Jerry Judy and Mims and Sutton. Sam Laporta wouldn't either. This is sick, but he wouldn't move the needle for us. We got Dolchich, who's a dog. I wouldn't hate getting a big offensive line signing for one year, Ronnie Stanley. Jaden Reed's a 90 now. Vita Vea would be a huge pickup. Actually, I'm going to try and get Vita Vea here. This would be huge. Sorry, Jaden Beasley, but if I get Vita Vea for two years, I'm thinking Super Bowl with this. Let's make him an offer. That's a really strong offer. Who's competing here? Tennessee's got a slightly better offer right now. We're actually going to have to crank this up a little bit. I'm going to give him, um, let's make it a very player-friendly two-year. We got, we got a lot of cap. We really do. All right, that should be slightly stronger. Maybe that's better than Tennessee's right now. I don't think it is. I'll give him a three-year. That's what it's going to take. I just want such a strong D-line. Bradley Chubb? Okay. We we would like a nice little pass coverage outside linebacker, too. What about Matt Milano to put him in for Benito? Just for one season? 82 overall run stopper? I like that. Let's pick up... um. Oh, no. We can pick up Isaiah Simmons instead. I like this better. Not sure he's going to sign with us. Going to give him a very aggressive deal. He does not want to be in Denver, but... Let's see if a shit ton of money will change his mind. Let's eval these offers real quick. We do get Vita Vea huge. So Vita Vea signs. What about Isaiah Simmons? Wow, Isaiah Simmons signed. Yeah, you throw enough money at somebody. Shit. So that's huge. So Isaiah Simmons is going for Benito. Vita Vea will take D-tackle one. And Jaden Beasley will take D-tackle two. Zach Allen, Joe Weber on the D-line. This D-line just got nasty. Really, really strong D-line. Okay, huge free agency. I didn't think Vita Vey would be a guy we're looking for, but really happy to have him. Take me to the draft here. Another mediocre season leads to round one pick 13. I got to keep in mind I could trade this away, develop some capital, but just depends. Whoa, there's an insane tight end available. Marcus Hood, 6'5", 21 out of Texas. Dude, what if we drafted him and traded Dolchich for a haul? Greg Dolchich has crazy good value right now, but this guy is a freak. And there's obviously no reason to have two tight ends. I almost think that's a good idea. This is nothing else. I, Dude, I'm doing it. This guy is guaranteed hidden dev. Marcus Hood is a fucking savage. I'm actually going to throw hands. I'm actually going to throw hands with somebody. Dev Trey Regesh is so dumb. This guy is a generational tight end talent. He's probably a 77 overall, and he's normal Dev. I'm still trading. I'm still going to go forward with the plan because Marcus Hood can obviously become a stud, but that's crazy, and he is not already hidden Dev. I actually do need a corner here. We've got Marcus Tucker ugh, out of North Dakota State. He is not good, but if there was a decent corner, I'd definitely take him. A lot of these guys are kind of slipping. Why did Taylor Gatt? Why did Taylor Gaddis slip 12? Elite Excel, solid speed. Okay, okay, he's really not that bad. I'm taking Taylor Gaddis. Normal dev, 6'3", corner, 94 Excel, 90 speed, 91 agility. Round three, pick 13. Can I finesse a hidden dev in round three? I'm actually going to pick up this right guard, Kurt Wilkins out of Boise State. Oh my God, there's my hidden dev. Guys, I, I'm pretty good at drafting the O-lineman today. That's about it. 90 strength, 79 Excel, 81 jumping. Uh, third round hidden dev guard is never something to complain about. That's a really nice time to pick up a guard. You don't get that lucky that often. All right, cool. Could have been worse. All right, draft recap, baby. Marcus Hood, you have to be a stud, right? No, nope, that's just a bad draft pick. It's really not as good as I thought. Gaddis is a 74, no hidden dev. Wilkins ended up being a really good pick and the rest of this class was not so strong. I mean, I am drafting like shit, but in my defense, these draft classes are not strong at all. Oh my God, this is so weak. The best player in this class is a 79. And pizza 78. There's only a 79, a 78, a 77. Everybody else in this class is 76 overall or lower. That's crazy. That is wild. That is such a weak class. All right, it is what it is. All right, let's go balls to the wall. Let's win a Super Bowl this season. Let's make an insane play here. So, Rice, Javante, Judy, Mims, Sutton. Amazing. Offensive line is now reinvigorated with Wilkins. I'm going to trade Greg Dolchich. Defense is disgusting. Oh, we got a, got a hidden dev linebacker. Defense is honestly disgusting. What's going to put us over the edge here? Simmons is getting old, man. Kyler Gordon's looking good. That was a good free agent signing. Jadarius Ellington's looking good. Actually, no, we really don't need to be aggressive. Let's just play. This team is so good. Let's play ball. 
Year five, let's ball. I think we're gonna have a really good season. Finally! The year is 2027. We have finally put together a playoff run. We're a 91 overall. We went 13 and four though, a very dominant playoff run. Let's see how we were statistically. Max Rice looks like he's third in the league in passing yards. 46 and two. That's MVP. That has to be MVP. There's no way somebody performed better than that. Okay, Mahomes 46 and three with 400 more passing yards. To be honest, I don't know who they'll give it to. He has one more interception, 400 more yards. 50 more attempts though 60 more attempts I feel like I'm more efficient. Yeah, my QBR is better. And Burrow's 46 more. Damn, this is actually a really tough, it's tough sledding in the NFL this year. Let me check. Let's check MVP. Mahomes gets it. Damn, the league loves him. It's actually a bummer, but really good season. Javante, 1,315. He's doing that every season, bro. Fantasy football monster. Sutton Judy Dolchich. Okay, we really distributed the wealth. Dolchich had 15 of our touchdowns this season. I really like that we kept this Broncos wide receiver core. Like throughout this and J like Javante. Sometimes these rebuilds, I rework everything. But on this one, we've got a lot of guys like Drew Sanders here. Two sacks, three interceptions, three deflections, three forced fumbles. Holy shit, Drew Sanders. Chill out. Jaden Beasley had the most sacks. Vita Vea after him. Joe Weber. What? Holy shit. Joe Weber at eight and a half. I expect him to have way more. Still really cool, though, to get this many team sacks and 11 out of Beasley, nine and a half out of Vita Vea. Shit. All right. Weird season. Hey, we're 13 and four. I ain't messing with it. All right, let's see if we got what it takes to go all the way to the bowl. All right. We're taking on the nine and eight Texans. I'm hoping this is a W here in the wild card and then i actually kind of want to pop in and ooh shit we beat the texans but now we're taking on mvp mahomes and the 14-3 kansas city chiefs i'm gonna play a few reps in this game i want to try out our new team as you guys know i don't like to drastically impact the role of the sim but when you spend this much time building a team you definitely want to get some some plays in with them so i'm gonna play some key moments here and then i'll let my team take over now on the opening drive honestly this is basically just the denver broncos but minus russell wilson and of course instead we've got max rice uh we do have our new tight end hood he's our backup we still have dolce Javante Williams, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy. So I like how much of this team we retained. And I'm going to go to Dolchich here, but the pressure gets to me. Second and 10. Who's going to get open here? Oh, I see you, Dolchich. Dude, it's so nice to have a superstar X Factor tight end, man. Safety net. All right, let's run Dagger here. I like my board Dolchich on this route. No? Step up. Hey, he's got wheels. Don't forget. Max Rice can run, baby. Thinking this is man coverage. Might be able to just hit Jerry Judy. Is it man? It is man coverage. Jerry Judy. Could this be a touchdown? Judy bends the corner. Oh, we got the juke, but he gets dragged down at the three. Let's go, Jerry Judy. All right, let's punch this in. We've got Javante Williams. We drafted a right guard. Going up against Chris Jones, though. I don't know if I like this look. This does not look good. Maybe. Yeah. That's just, that was doomed to not be a good play right there. Fullback dive. Wait, what's going to happen here? Whoa, look at this. What is going to happen here? I think my game just bugged. What the fuck's going to happen? Whoa, I just want to see. Oh, who did it just give the ball to? Who is this big ass dude? I have no idea how my like lineman is getting the ball right now, but I love it. Get in there. Let's go. Dude, who just scored? Justin Tart, the left tackle, somehow came in on fullback dive. I have, I literally have no idea how that happened, but cool. All right, 7-0. And we're back in the red zone. Start for the Broncos. I definitely want to play some defense, though. Let's look at Jerry Judy again, man. Hit him with a little play action. Jerry Judy in single coverage. We love that. Can't guard him like that, man. Unlike the Broncos in real life, we use Jerry Judy. 14 to 14. Let me play a little defense. Damn. They just scored 14 on us. Not even gonna let me try. All right. We got Gambit unlocked. And I think Marvin Mims. No. Marvin Mims beat his man. But we turned the ball over fourth and two. And wow, they're really just having me play offense. Dude, I'm telling you Marvin Mims can cook him. Let's try play action here. See if they'll bite. Mims. 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 Let's get those fresh legs. Benjamin St. Just is cooked. Same with Shamari Connor. We are all the way into the end zone. Let's go, baby. Can I please play like some defense? Hey, let's go. 21 to 17. They're finally letting me play a little defense. I'm hopping on Drew Sanders, who's got abilities. Corner route. Nothing's there. Oh, my God, Mahomes. Are you kidding me? What a throw. Crazier than that is Kadarius Tony caught it. Told you, man, it's not realistic. It's 21 to 23, though, so a field goal will put us up here. All right, we're just going to check this down. Almost get intercepted. Fourth and one. I think we kick this now. Let's see if we make it. Oh, no. Coach is having us go for this. 
fourth and one. Huge play. I'm going halfback dive. Javante Williams, stay away from Chris Jones. And we'll get this. Beautiful. Cross drag, one of my all-time favorite plays. Let's see what Rice has got in on this one. There's always something open on this play, it feels like. Marvin Mims with a really nice catch. Second and one, that's the third quarter in the books. Max Rice, insanely, insanely good game right now. Second and one. Ooh, Dolchich, I like that! <laughs> Let's go, step up, throw a laser. Greg Dolchich, 28 to 23. And now I really just want to play a little bit of defense here. So we got Browning on one edge, we got Weber on the other, and then we got Sanders and... Oh yeah, dude, this is such a nasty team. Kind of figured he was going to throw right there. We get a huge hit. Second and two. Come on, boys. Let's get a big stop here. Can't let him run this in, right? There's no way. Going on Caden Stearns. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to throw the whip. Dude, Mahomes is legit, man. What a play. Kirk Young touchdown. All right, this could be our final drive here. I know I said I don't want to influence it, but I'm invested now. It's a really good game. I'm going to hit the out route. To Marcus Hood, our newly drafted tight end, our first round pick, that is. We can go slow on this drive, too. Kind of choose some clock and try and score with no time left. Go and play action. There's Dolchich. Almost intercepted. We get four yards out of it, though. Max Rice is having a perfect game right now, though. RPO alert bubble. I think we just hand this off. Yeah, we do. Javante. Take it up to third and one. All right, third and one right here. Really big conversion. There's Dolchich. And the ball is thrown eight yards behind him on what is supposedly perfect accuracy. How could that be the case? That and classic right there. All right, fourth and one. Risky. But we're going for it. Dolchich easily clears. We make the throw that time. That got scary for a second. But that'll be the two-minute warning. Let's try and get in the end zone here. Put this game away. Gonna go Marvin Mims. Oh, this is scary. Perfect clock management, though, and we just end this ball game. That's what's important right now. And you have Dolchich, a little weird one. Oh, shit. Chris Jones just completely ran over our rookie right guard. He is, uh... <laughs> Yeah, he didn't get pass rushers like that in college. I'll tell you that. What about Marvin Mims in a seam, though? Are they gonna leave that? Maybe not, but they do leave the check down to Javante Williams. Who's going to make one move, and it's time to go no huddle. Cannot settle here. What are we going to be able to get? Step up, Max. Step up, Max. Fourth and one. You got to go for this. You don't take the field goal here? Are you out of your mind? You got to go for this. Fourth and one. This play has been so money on short yardage, and it'll stay money on short yardage. First and goal. 14 seconds left. Holy shit, what a play. What a play. All right, we're going to go I-form stretch here. We're going to follow Marcus Hood to the promised land. Come on. <laughs> Getting around the corner. Am I out of bounds? I'm out of bounds. The clock is stopped. That's massive. All right, I think. All right, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure, so I'm calling a timeout because I'm too scared. I'm actually straight up too scared. To... Second and goal. What about Cortland Sutton? What about Cortland Sutton on a simple route right there? What about Javante Williams over the middle? We just We have to get the touchdown or we'll lose here. Sutton's in man coverage. We can't throw that, but we can throw Javante Williams. Caught! Javante! Oh my God, what a play. And that's going to put the ball game away. Actually, let me, let me, let's make sure. 35 to 31. I have seen crazier shit, believe it or not. First and 20. Let's see what Mahomes has got. Final play of the game. It's a Hail Mary. And he's going to check down to Travis Kelsey. Very realistic. Of course, that's what they do there. Ball game. Despite getting steamrolled by Chris Jones, Kurt Wilkins gets an upgrade. All right, the W against the Chiefs. Now we take on the 14-3 and three Buffalo Bills. This is a gauntlet is what it is. All right, I'm going to play one rep on offense, one rep on defense, and then I got to let the team do the rest here. Ooh, it's a snow game. You got to love that. Let's go with a handoff, Javante Williams. Get him moving. Oh, look at the blocks. Damn. Quinn, I need you to hold that a little bit longer, buddy, and I'm going for eight plus. Coach wants a bunch Z spot. Kind of like a Greg Dolchich post route here. Let's see if he gets home. Greg Dolchich. Oh, no, maybe not. Matthew. I got baited by that safety. Thought he was blitzing. All right, we're going to go play action here against the blitz. It's a little risky, but if we get some time. Oh, great route. Cortland Sutton all the way in to the end zone. Dude, a snow game in buff. Dude, this is such a sick game. All right, we've got our one drive on offense. Now I get one drive on defense. It's 14 to zero right now, though. We're kind of killing it. Now 17 to seven. Now 24 to seven. Damn, I don't need a rep on defense. We're 
fucking dominating this game. Oh my god. All right, we get one play on defense, 38 to 10. We were not needed at all. We just shit on the Bills in Buffalo in a snow game. I guess we are Denver. You know, we oh my god, and he shanked it. Tyler Bass classic right there. Ooh, AFC Championship, Tyler Bass missed kick. Is that, are any Bills fans getting a little PTSD? Oh my God, that was the third quarter. 45 to 13, utter curb stomp in the AFC Championship. Oh my goodness. What are the stats here? Dude, look at this Max Rice game. Are you shitting me? 24 for 28, 305 yards, five touchdowns, no interceptions. Shit on Josh Allen. Javante Williams with 103 yards and a touchdown. And yeah, two interceptions, Kyler Gordon. Wow. Good, great playoff run, gentlemen. It's exciting. Oh, and our Super Bowl is against the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, my God. Here we go. This is really like the Madden gauntlet, man. Chiefs, Bills, Cowboys. Some three of the best offenses in the game. All right, boys. Here we go. We do have some player upgrades, though. Bunch of bums. Bunch of homeless guys. Cool. All right, headed into our very first Super Bowl. Here is your Denver Broncos new lineup. Max Rice, full-blown X-Factor? What? When did you do this? He's a 99 with four morale points. His stats are through the roof. Did you win something? What did you win? He's got insane XP from this, but he had to have won something to go up to X-Factor. Pro Bowl appearance. I think I just haven't checked his literal dev trait in so long. Jeez, he got a plus four upgrade here on Pro Bowl week. Max Rice is officially a fucking monster. Oh my god, all right. Javante Williams got superstar. That's new to me too. Javante Williams got superstar. He's got tank. Let's also give him bruiser and let's give him recuperation. I ah, know we probably don't need that, do we? Let's give him goal line back. No wonder this team did so good this season. Look at this, 95 Judy, 90 apiece for Sutton and Mims. 98-99, offensive line looks great. Matt Fleming is now at light, left tackle. Miners at left guard. Wilkins at right guard. McGlinchey and Cushenberry. Got Dolchich and Hood. We got a little one-two punch at tight end. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, what have we done? Superstar X-Factor Vita Vea. Beasley's up to star. Weber's still X-Factor. Browning is an X-Factor. Drew Sanders is an X-Factor. Sertan has five unused upgrades and Caden Stearns is an 89. Holy shit. I gotta say... We rebuilt this team really well schematically, but my draft picks were still shit. So that's actually pretty awesome. Like this is an exciting, this is a really exciting rebuild for me. Let's go into the Super Bowl against the Dallas Cowboys. Their top three is CeeDee Lamb, Micah Parsons, and Trayvon Diggs, who is now a superstar X Factor as well. Gonna be an awesome Super Bowl. Let's get some cool uniforms on here. 90s home throwbacks. Hell yeah. Let's get our first ring here, boys. Let's go. This Super Bowl is hosted in Tampa. And I gotta say, they seem to never learn. We've got tight coverage on Sutton. I wonder if he can clear. Just gotta step up in the pocket. Be safe. And there's Cortland Sutton! Oh my god, what a throw. Just past Leighton Van Der Esch. First and 10. Way to start out hot. Dude, let's not forget that Javante Williams is a 98 overall now. Let's hand this puppy off. Dude, you know what I'm you know what makes me really happy about this rebuild too? Is that Max Rice really wasn't the best draft pick. Like, I traded a lot. I was getting rid of Russell Wilson. And Max Rice ended up being normal dev 73 overall. And he still has turned out to be a 99 superstar X Factor. You know, of course, he has insane weapons. Um, and it's been a great season. But it's just like, you know. It could have gone so poorly. That draft, that whiff could have ended this rebuild. But it didn't. And that's pretty awesome. Press coverage on Jerry Judy. That might be a touchdown. Look at him, Rice. Did he beat him? I think he did. Actually, no, that's really good coverage. Darren Bland, I tried testing him, and it did not pay off. Fourth and two. Honestly, a no man's land of the Super Bowl. Is this the craziest thing I've ever done? Probably not, but you know what? This is. I believe in my offensive line. We're running it. Fourth and two, Javante! Just barely picks it up on a counter. That's a bold play call. All right, after a solid run like that, let's go a little RPO here. Gonna rifle this out to the bubble man. Get... No block for Marvin Mims. He was not drafted to block. They got good corners, dude. I don't know if I'm going to get any... Damn, and Micah Parsons makes it third and 17. This is a really good Cowboys team. Keep in mind, I'm playing on all Madden simulation. If you were wondering, like, the difficulty of the gameplay, anything like that. Let's hit A right in the middle. That's... Ooh, huge catch, but on fourth and six. I don't have the balls to go for this. We can't hit that field goal? You're serious. Fake punt, fullback, flat. I have never run a fake punt before. Oh my God, he's open. Oh my God, he's so open. And I get sacked before I can throw it. I didn't know what button he was. Wow, we really just had a chance and I choked it in the Super Bowl. Wow, that was open. 
All right, third and 12. We can make a really big stop here, though. I'm going to send a big blitz. No, I'm offsides. He snapped it the moment I got offsides. And he threw a touchdown on me. Wasn't that just dandy? Wasn't that just great? That's some CPU nonsense right there. All right, can we stuff him, though? Let's get in there, Simmons. We know. Is it fullback dive? Is it QB sneak? What do they got? Dude, I just ran commit the entire team middle, and he, he just walked the ball. All righty. 7-0. Tough start in the Super Bowl. All right, first and 10. My team got ourselves into the red zone, and they want me to cap it off. My last drive was, was not very good. I'm telling you what, though. This Cowboys team is legit. We got a speed option here. Let's run it. You got to love a speed option. Get the pitch off. Javante's got it. We're going to get five yards on the speed option. Love that. Coach wants a slip screen. I, honestly, I like this play call, Coach. I feel like if I'm going to play in the sim, I at least got to play the play that they were going to select, right? Halfback slip screen. No, you have to get that block. You're a guard on a linebacker. You have to get that block. Fourth and two. We're going to go for it. I think we might be able to find Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy, out route, torched him. Wow, that was on Trayvon Diggs, too. Very nice play. All right, keeping the drive alive. We're going to go inside zone to Javante. Try and tie the Super Bowl up before the two-minute warning. Handoff, great blocks. Javante's in. This is a very close Super Bowl. All right, big third down right here. We're just going to play zone coverage. I'm going to drop back with Isaiah Simmons and then Drew Sanders. I don't think anything's open. Stearns! Caden Stearns with an interception. Do I take this out? That's so risky. Shouldn't have taken it out. Got worse field position because of it. But wow, Caden Stearns. Caden Stearns, a guy I've never really heard of. A guy I didn't expect to be an impactful player. But wow, Caden Stearns has been so clutch on this rebuild. We're back on defense here. I'm on Isaiah Sim No, I'm on Justin Simmons. Apologies. A lot of Simmons on this team. Wow, that was one hell of a throw. On the run from Dak Prescott. He's 8 for 11. Finds Ferguson. Let's see if we get another moment here. On the goal line. Dude, they walked this thing in last time. All right, let's just wait back here. I'm going to run commit middle, and I'm going to wait back. And go try and fill it. Oh, my God. We finally got him, and he breaks the tackle. Damn. Nice play. 14 to 7. We're in the red zone once again. I got to give it to my team. They're putting me in the red zone a lot. I'm going to go with a play action drag here. I'm kind of going to look for Jerry Judy. Hoping this is man coverage. So you're not going to be able to follow that. Doesn't matter because Max Rice has a lot of room. Stiff arms after eight yards. Kind of like a naked bootleg right there. All right, second and two. We're going to hand off Javante. Hey, this is what scored it for us last time. Can it do it again, Javante? What a truck. We're having a halfback off. The Super Bowl MVP is either going to be Javante Williams or it's going to be Tony Pollard. Because every single touchdown is with those guys right now. Dallas scores. I repeat, Dallas scores. It's 21 to 14. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'm just going to check this down to Javante. Take my three yards. I'm going to put Dolchich in the middle now. I don't know if they're going to cover this. Second and seven. Okay, man, coverage. I like this throw to Cortland Sutton. Beautiful throw. Good stiff arm. We're taking it down. I want to score with some time left because I want to watch my sim defense. I want them to go off without my assistance. So I think we should score the touchdown and then just see how this game plays out. I feel like that's the fair way to do this. Going to find Marcus Hood. I got to say, man, I'm so happy to have two good tight ends. Max Rice is 18 for 19, 197, no touchdowns. 18 for 19 is an insane stat line, though. All right, we're going to rock the same play, but Jerry Judy. Oh, Dolchich should clear. No, he's got the positioning. Nice work, Sutton. Way to box him out. That was a great box out. That was, was like some Jokic shit right there. All right, second and two. We got Dolchich under. We got Javante on the angle. Oh, I got to remember Micah Parsons. I can't be waiting in this pocket for too long. He's always going to get to me. Coach wants the slip screen again. Coach is obsessed with this slip screen, but I respect it, Coach. Let's go for it. Micah Parsons is scaring me, but Javante with a lot of room. And maybe I should have waited another second for my block there. Honestly, I sh probably should have. We obviously got to go for this. I'm going to go with an eye form stretch. Away from... Oh, no. Yeah, we got to go away from Micah Parsons. Going to the right side. This determines the Super Bowl. Great block. Javante to the house. Oh, my God. My heart's beating. It's going to be 21 to 21. And I'm going to watch the rest of this game. That's the only fair way to do this. It is all tied up. Wait, no. We got to hit this kick first. I shouldn't say that. 21 to 21. 21 to 21. 
Dallas gets the ball 21 to 21. Kick return is going nowhere. Each team has three timeouts. I wonder if we can get this ball back. Dak fires over the middle. Clock is still running, only gets three yards there. They don't seem like they're in too much of a hurry, though. Guess they do have three timeouts, but still, I feel like there should have been some tempo there. Dak waiting in the pocket, gets it out to Pollard, but there's a flag. I'm hoping it's an offensive holding. Wow, that is a big call from refs. Oh, no, roughing the passer. Oh, shit. On Vita Vea, our free agent signing. First and 10. First and 10. Come on, baby. Checks it down to Pollard, who... Dude, I'm sick of Tony Pollard. Let's just be real. I am sick of Tony Pollard. Timeout right here from Dallas. First and 10. They're in a running set, but they're really not in field goal range yet. So they need to pick up some yards here. If we can blow this up... It's absolutely insane that we're not blitzing there. But, hey, Drew Sanders with a TFL. Second and 11. Huge play. They got a pass now. They called a timeout. They got a pass. Can we get home? Need some pass rush right now. A wide open. That might be the Super Bowl. They can just set up for a field goal and end this puppy. Timeout Dallas is kind of interesting here. They used a timeout. So now we can get two timeouts. Three timeouts. Stop the clock. And we'll have a chance to get in a field goal range ourselves. So call a timeout, Denver. Please call a timeout. Call a timeout. What the fuck? Are we just rolling over and losing in the Super Bowl? Wow. Wow. We straight up just rolled over and lost in the Super Bowl. I hate Madden Sim. There's no way that the developers of this game have ever played this game. Who would ever sign off on a team in the Super Bowl with three timeouts, consciously allowing the other team to chew the entire clock? Even in a regular season game, that's despicable. This is the fucking Super Bowl. Almost made it through the gauntlet of Kansas City, Buffalo, and Dallas, but we fall in the Super Bowl to a game-winning field goal with three timeouts left. That's a bummer. But wow, a hell of a season, and we are in such a good position to run this right back, honestly. I have a feeling we will run it right back. 108.7 for Max Rice, 110.8 for Dak. Both the quarterbacks with an amazing game, and I think Tony Pollard will probably get Super Bowl MVP. Javante Williams would have got if we would have won. 11 for 56 and three fucking touchdowns. This guy was such a monster. Sutton at 99. Nick Delgado, 155 and one. Then uh, defensively, two sacks out of Micah, one out of Baron Browning. Honestly, though, I expected my D-line to play a little better there. I expect them to get home. Tough loss. Super Bowl 62 goes to the Cowboys. Let's see if we can make it right back, though. Come on, baby. We're still going to draft right here, of course. We want to set this team up for success, even if I'm going for that Super Bowl right now. Um, Gosh, with round one pick 32, I actually do think we go offensive line. Joel Farr, decent. Uh, Any other good offensive lineman? Alex Phillips looks like he really got knocked on his... He's got some greats, some solids, some pours. I'm going to try Joel Farr out of Ole Miss. Just give me my draft pick right here. It's hoping for hidden dev. 86 strength, 83 excel. He's going to replace either McGlinchey or Cushionberry. Too bad he's not hidden dev, but that's okay. It's round one pick 31. We're not having round one pick five anymore, so when I whiff, I don't feel as bad. Honestly, we are eventually going to need a Javante replacement, and we're eventually going to need new wide receivers. My wide receiver's been on this team rocking the same ones for five years now. Don't know if Chris Burns is the guy, though. You know, I'm actually going to double up O-line. I'm going Andrew LeBlanc center. And this time, we smack the hidden dev. I am resetting my entire O-line. They need it. We've had too many guys that have been there for so long. Down the line, we're going to need them. Right now, for this upcoming Super Bowl, I don't think we'll be using these guys, though. I'm saying upcoming Super Bowl like we're going to make it, but we are actually probably the best team in the league. I expect to make it. Steven McGowan out of Bama. Deep threat. Wide receiver. Honestly, a stud. 6'1", 93 speed, 92 excel. But uh, I have normal dev syndrome right now. I'm going to end this draft. Let the CPU do the rest. And uh, let's get to next season, where I hope to replicate some of our success from this season. Joel Farr was a 72. Andrew LeBlanc was a 75 center hidden dev. Amazing. McGowan's a 70. The rest of that draft, nothing special. Let's take a look around the entire NFL. Best in this class was a 78. Dude, these might have been the weakest draft classes I've ever had, even with normal on. Like, I'm normal every once in a while you know you get an 81 82 sometimes like an 83 84 but these have been weak hey doesn't matter to me we're, we're killing it we got a squad dude i ain't worried all right boys could this be the super bowl season let's take a look at the roster max rice javante williams judy sutton mims greg dolchich we definitely need a new right tackle though i think we make that leblanc so it does look like McGl this was a really good pick because mcglinchy actually retired i was not aware of that so I'm going to move LeBlanc to right tackle for now. 
Yeah, he's a 75 at right tackle. Hit and dev. What a good pickup for us. And then, of course, we still have Cushionberry, so we don't have to put in far quite yet. Defensively, gigantic regressions out of Baron Browning. Same with Justin Simmons. But hey, he's still here, right? Vita Vea with a big regression too. Beasley, Weber. I do want to trade for a right end this season. Really just looking for any very serviceable right end that we could pick up for maybe a second round pick. I don't need an absolute monster, but I'd like someone solid. I wonder how hard it is to get your hands on Tyree Wilson. He's 28, three years left, star dev, 88 overall. Good overall. I don't think it's going to be that hard to get. Let's offer our first round pick. It's a deep first round pick. It's not enough. Let's go first and a second. We're getting there. Let's go first, second, fourth, fifth for Tyree Wilson. I'm okay with this. Our team is so nasty right now. Yeah, we're here. This is about the only thing to round up my D-line right now. Beautiful. Yeah, we have no more Zach Allen. He retired. That I like the addition of Tyree Wilson. I don't think he's going to be an insane addition because without abilities, your D-line can only do so much, but the D-line looks a hell of a lot better now. Love how far Drew Sanders has come. Caden Stearns with the regression. Dude, these dev trait regressions are whooping my ass. Come on, baby. We're definitely making the playoffs. I have no doubt about that. 12 and 5 season. One last hoorah. We're making a push for a veteran. Who's retiring? Justin Simmons. Oh, shit. Justin Simmons tribute game. The potential retirement is Justin Simmons has fired up the team. Plus 10 morale for all players. That's actually huge. Wait, we're going to be so gassed for this game. 12 and 5 season. Slightly worse than last season, but we had a tougher schedule. So it's cool. Yeah, everyone's insane because of that. Holy shit. Yeah, everybody is boosted. We're a 92 overall. Let's go, baby. Is this our sixth season right now? Got to get past the 10 and 7 Jets first in the wild card. W we smacked them. Now we're taking on the Ravens, who are 11 and 6. Take it through the Ravens, baby. I'll hop in if I can. Dude, we crushed them both. Now we got the Colts, who are an 88 overall. All right, let's go, baby. Colts in the AFC Championship. We'll see who we take on in the Super Bowl. We've got a serious overall advantage on all these teams. All right, I'm going to put Denver on the board, and then I'll let them take over. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Four-man rush. I've got the deep... Oh, no. I was just about to give that to B. Quiddy Pay gets home. A little flood concept here. I like this. Cortland Sutton's going to clear in that seam. Insane catch. I love you, Cortland Sutton. All right, first and 10. Do they blitz? Do they blitz? Do they blitz? Play action. They don't blitz. There's B. Yup. They keep dropping back. They're leaving Marvin Mims on that little, little hitch. PA cross sit. Cortland Sutton in press coverage. Maybe. I don't really know if he's my guy. Tell you what. No! Max Rice fumble! Oh no. Oh no. All right. They're going to have me step in for a little bit of defense here. Good. I'm needed right now. Max Rice. First and 10. There's a handoff. We got that all bottled up. Cadence, not really. They got six yards out of that. Damn. Gun empty base flex. All right, let's blitz then, baby. See if we can get on Richardson here. Yup, we got one coming through. Dude, he gets the quick pass off and delivers. Nice play. Nice play. Seven to zero. We're struggling. Third and one, coach wants the run play. Honestly, coach, I like it. I like the run because Max Rice just fumbled. Let's establish the run. That's how you establish the run. Good stuff. Third and three. I don't even know what this route concept is, but I see a wide open Marvin Mims. Who makes one miss? There are six Indianapolis Colts over there. Oh my goodness. I was not juking all six. Red zone alert. First and 10. Here we go, boys. Let's get a big one to Jerry Judy. We need it right now. Jerry Judy right there. Oh, what a catch. First and goal. Damn, that was a crazy catch right there. All right, we got a spacing route right here. I'm going to go to... Well, that's not predetermined. Let's just take a look. Is he there? Cortland Sutton! Nice hands. Nice hands. All right, 7-7. Seven to seven. Nice Selly. Let's let this team take over. I believe in this squad. All right, 10-7. to seven. Denver puts it up. 10-10. 13-10. 20-10. 20-17. to Oh my God, are we about to do this? 20-17. to 17. It's the fourth quarter. It's third and goal, though. So we got to get some... No way. <gasps> Max Rice! No! Max, you shed it! Oh, Max, run it in! Dude, my O-line is just crumbling, though. That was pitiful. Is that a screen? All right, we tied the game up, though. Colts can't get anything. They're gonna punt this away. A minute 23 timeouts. And that's a punt dot, I think. Yeah, on the nine. Yep, Max Rice, we need you here, buddy. Big drive. All right, first and 10. Minute 23 timeouts. Please don't hand the ball off. Actually, maybe you should. What do I know? Good little check down here. Ooh, Jerry Judy fighting. Second and one. Let's just go no huddle, right? Nah, just normal. I like it. Second and one. Just need field goal range. Oh my God. Wait a minute. What? 
Sutton just went nuclear. Indianapolis forced to use a timeout. Now we can just hand this ball off and kick a field goal. What just happened? Great blocks, Javante. This game's over. Dude, how do you let that up in that scenario? First and 10, yeah, a few more handoffs. It's just ball game. No, don't run it in, don't run it in. Dude, no, we should be kneeling the ball. They have no timeouts left. We're gonna score and then they're gonna have an opportunity now. Madden Sim is so pitiful. Good, thank you, good. Now let the clock run all the way down and kick a game winning, buttery, easy field goal, please. Okay, bizarre clock management here because now we're gonna kick it with 11 seconds as opposed to zero or one, I suppose. All right, well, I don't think they're gonna score in eight seconds. We should win the game, but what are we doing? All right, I'm just gonna skip through these plays. Yep, they get absolutely nothing, thank the Lord. And the Broncos are going back. Back to back Super Bowls, baby. This one we gotta take home. Ooh, our Super Bowls against the Atlanta Falcons. That's a free win. We know they're going to choke it. All right. In all reality, we need to lock in here. We're 92 overall. They're a 92 overall. 12 and 5, 11 and 6 Super Bowl. First and 10 in the Super Bowl. We're starting from the three. I guess we stopped them and they punted. It's a hell of a punt. Second and eight. Got to create a little bit of space with that run there. And now, now we got to go big, baby. Jerry Judy clear. What a catch. I love you, Jerry. It's weird when you just call him Jerry. All right. Third and one. We're going back to the run. Javante Williams. Good hold. Good hold. Great blocks. Love that. I love it. First and 10. Look at Dolchich. Look at Greg Dolchich. No way. Did we get that? Oh, we did. Nice. I had a lot of room upfield if I was able to get there. First and 10. The air raid continues. I see Dolchich once more. Greg Dolchich is finding home. All right. We're going to go. What are we going to try here? I don't know. Let the game dictate. Yeesh, dude, the pass rush is crazy. O-line keeps getting obliterated up there. Let's hand this ball off. Keep him honest. Keep him honest. Second to six. Yeah, we love those blocks. We love those blocks. Come on, Javante. Three rushes, 25 yards, first and 10. Keep it up. Now we take a shot. Play action. Will they bite? A little bit of a bite. I see Cortland Sutton. <sighs> Down to the two. What a drive this is. Going right back to the inside zone, Javante. Do what you were made for, baby. You were born for this, Javante. Javante Williams. He wants his Super Bowl MVP. Let's see if we can give it to him. All right, first and 10. I'm gonna let the squad take over after this. First and 10, first play is gonna be a handoff. Bijan, who is bottled by Joey Weber. Okay, this is gonna be a pass, right? Is it play action? Kind of hoping, because we might be able to get to the quarterback. Let's go! Baron Browning! Third and 19, what a play. Bad time for play action. We sent the house. All right, we're just gonna go pass pro here. Got Isaiah Simmons, got Drew Sanders. He wants this, no? What does he have? Just a little check down to Bijan, who's going to break the first one. He's not going to break Drew Sanders. Fourth and 10, we'll hold him to a field goal. Nice work. 14 to 3, 21 to 3, 21 10. It ain't over. 24 10, 24 17. Let's check in. Oh, it's in victory formation. Yes. Max Rice with his X Factor activated has finally done it. Victory formation. And that's going to be the Super Bowl. Come on, baby. What the fuck? What the fuck? I hate Madden Sim so much. That's actually insane. Madden Sim is so bad that even when you're in victory formation, meaning you could just fully chew the clock and win the game, you will still find a way. They will literally kneel the ball with 30 seconds left on the clock and then they'll punt or they'll turn it over because the Sim is that bad and somehow the Falcons were able to score. Hold up. Let's just Let's just look at what happened here. Let's just look. Why don't we take a look? With a minute two left, with, with a minute 19, he kneels. Then he kneels again with 17 seconds left on the clock. And then we punt after only burning 25 out of 40. Then they score an instant touchdown. And then we fumbled, recovered for 48 yards, and Jake Elliott bears a field goal. Fuck this game. I literally have just now spent six hours getting fully immersed in my team for the simulation logic to be so fucking bad that we would actually hand over a Super Bowl despite being in victory formation. The title was correct, ladies and gentlemen. This is a cursed franchise. You can't win a damn Super Bowl, even against the Atlanta Falcons. I'm done. Holy shit. Somebody... Then, uh, da, 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 da. Ligma Sugma EA.